Hi, my name is Mike Chase. And I wanted to give just a few moments to help you get longevity out of your furniture. This is a huge investment, a lot bigger than what most of us think. When you buy this, we wanna give you a couple little tips of how to get life out of it. And this is fun, let's have fun doing it, but the best thing is we're gonna give you the most bang for your buck. Throughout this video, I'm gonna show you a few little tips. Again, first of all, I want you to remember, I want you to have fun. I'm gonna show you ways to have fun. We're gonna talk about the back pillows, the loose pillows first. We're gonna get into the back pillows. This is an actual pillow. And then last, I'm gonna get into the core, the actual firm and support of the sofa. And then we'll show you how to keep it clean and maintain it for many years of use. The first thing that people fail to realize is the furniture is just like your furnace at home or your car or anything that has movability in it, if you would. You have to maintain it. So I'm gonna start with a pillow. This is the best demonstration. So we all sleep at night, right? We put our head on a pillow, we go to sleep. You get up in the morning and that pillow just looks like a mess. What's the first thing that you do every morning? You take that pillow, you fluff it back up, you do this, you put, you think you're just shaping it back up to put it on your bed. What you're actually doing is putting life and air back into this foam to get longevity out of it. And you're doing it and not even realizing it. So the pillows are one. First thing we're gonna go back to is again, put air in it, fluff it up. You can't do it enough. Slam it down, put air in it. I always tell people, especially if they're in the store with kids or grandkids, as in my case, have fun with it. Your kids aren't allowed to jump on couches. I hope you don't let them jump on the couch, but there's a time we're gonna allow them to do that. I want them to jump on the couch. I want them to slam the pillows on the floor, hit each other with the pillows, make a little fun out of it. You're putting life back into this foam. So when you open up a pillow, there's many things you're gonna see inside of a pillow. This one happens to have a bag. And if you look, you notice what that is. Those are feathers, those are down feathers. There's different type of material that's inside your pillow, but all the material does not matter if it's foam feathers, it needs life and air put back into it. Many of them, when you open them, it'll just have like a, it's called Dacron, looks like cotton in there. Fluff it up, get your arm down in there, move that around, reshape this pillow. All right, so we've talked about the small pillows. I wanna to go to the back pillow, and that is a pillow. Some, let me pull this off and show you here. Some couches you sit on, some you sit in. This happens to be one you sit in, and all that simply means it's, it's soft, I told you the down feathers over there. This has a, a material in it called Dacron, which is a man-made fiber and foam content. Very resilient, but look, I can take it out. So what happens after a period of time, this starts moving around wherever you sit. So as I said earlier, let's have fun with it. You have kids, tell them for, for tonight, kids, I want you to have a pillow fight. Just beat each other with this. Slow it on around, let them wrestle on it, roll around. They're adding air and life back into it, resilience back into that foam. Now, when they're done, your pillow may look a mess. That's where you're gonna have to come in and find that zipper again. Doesn't take long, unzip it, put your arm down in there, move everything around, reshape it, put it back on your couch. All right, next thing we're gonna go to, which is real important, now you're gonna have the support and the foam. So now we're sitting into a seat. There's a lot of things that can take place. I'm six foot tall, 200 plus pounds. Look at when I lean back on this couch, you notice I'm way back. I'm already flattening the cushion in the back, putting a little bit of a torque here because my legs are only 32 inches long. If I have 36 inches legs, I'm up here, my feet are on the floor, no strain. But I'm putting a little bit of strain on this welt. If you're like most women or my wife, who's five foot three, her legs are up here, putting a lot of strain on this. And what happens is your welt cord, you see this beautiful straight welt cords, ends up getting waves to it. The way to fix that is this. Pull your cushion off. You can see it's two-sided. Very, very simple. First of all, when they're two-sided, flip your cushions. Take this cushion, move it over here, move this one over here, flip them and it allows for even, like you would on your tires on your car, it, act, it allows for even wear. But this also has a layer of Dacron top and bottom. That is there to give shape 
and that's there to give a little bit of comfort, but mostly shape. This is your comfort. The maintenance on this is different. It's necessary, but it's different. Simply rotate them as I showed you, or when you get that welt cord that we were showing you on the front, if this welt cord gets uneven, all you simply do is reach your arm down into it, way down in there, and pull that up and get your welt cord nice and straight. Again, everything I'm showing you will add life, but it's also a personal preference. If those don't bother you, let it go. But you do want to keep for longevity, keep the air in, again, get it on the floor, let the kids play on it. My grandkids get up on their knees right here and they punch the back and they have a blast and it's adding life. So the last thing I wanna show you, so we've showed you how to maintain it and have a little fun. This next part isn't as fun, but it's absolutely necessary. So you need to maintain it by getting the dust off of it. Remember that same dust that fell on your end table falls on this. Get you a vacuum, whether it's a big one or a small one, and all you simply do is just periodically dust and get that off. Take the cushions off, get down inside here, get everything off. Get the dust out of it. It's the same dust that's on your end table as on this. Shampooing, steam cleaning. Most of our fabrics that we carry at our store, you can use water on. Check with your sales associate just to make sure what you can do to clean it or get with a professional cleaning company. I recommend two times a year. You can do it more if you want. And here's the reason I do two times a year. You change your smoke detector when you change your clocks. Put this right into that same rotation. You change your smoke detector, change your clocks, shampoo your carpets and your furniture. Get ready for the fall and the spring. Keep you a can of Woolite or some off brand. Real important. This is very safe. It's not gonna hurt any fabric that we have, but just do this once in a while. Just kind of lightly spray it on. Let it work for a few minutes. I recommend while you're doing that, fluff your cushions or do something while it's doing it. Take a terry cloth towel, just lightly rub it around. You'll see it start to disappear. You're not hurting anything. There's not enough to get down into the foam. So we wipe that real good. This is just an example of what you get. And we clean our furniture. We have a team that vacuums our furniture on a regular basis. This is what we even got. So I showed you some things to help you get the life out of it. It's a big investment on your furniture. Do what you have to do to get the life. Remember, it's your furniture. Use it how you want to. Maintain it how you want to. Sometimes the wrinkles are part of life. Enjoy it. Get you a couple little things to keep it clean, just as important as the, as the, as the foam. Get yourself a lot of years out of it. Enjoy your furniture. You can always go again back to our webpage, to our learning center and watch these videos. You can YouTube most of this and see it. You can call any of our sales associates at our call center or our online store. They'll be able to answer questions on how to maintain it. This is where most people fail. They know how to buy it. They know what they like. It feels good. It looks good. It looks great in my home. I don't know how to keep it and get many years out of it. Let us help you.